हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास इन दिस क्लास वील चेक द गिवन रिलेशन आर इन सेट ऑफ ऑल रियल नंबर्स व्हिच इज डिफाइंड एज आर इक्वल टू आर डॉट पेर ए कामा बी सच दैट ए इज लेस देन आर इक्वल टू बी क्यूब वील चेक दैट दिस रिलेशन इज रिफ्लेक्सिव और सिमेट्रिक और ट्रांसटिव फर्स्ट थिंग it must be clear that r is a relation defined on set of all real numbers how the relation r is defined if a is less than or equal to b cube then the ordered pair a comma b belongs to the relation we'll check few examples what type of ordered pairs are there in the relation for example you take the ordered pair 2 comma 3 ordered pair 2 comma 3 is there in the relation or not how to check If two is less than or equal to three cube, see here, a is less than or equal to b cube. Is two is less than or equal to three cube? Three cube is twenty-seven. Two is less than twenty-seven. Yes, that's why we can say that the ordered pair two comma three is there in the relation. Ordered pair three comma two is there in the relation. <coughs> ordered pair three comma two is there in the relation. If three is less than or equal to two cube. Then this ordered pair will be there in this relation. Two cube, two cube is eight. Is three is less than eight? No. That means the ordered pair three comma two does not belongs to the relation. Now we try to understand what type of ordered pairs are there in the given relation. Now we will check this relation is reflexive or symmetric or transitive. Reflexive property. You observe here. what is reflexive property reflexive property is for any a which is a real number implies ordered pair a comma a is there in the relation then we say that that relation is a reflexive relation first you take one real number here i know that it is not reflexive when i know it is not reflexive i'll try to give a counter example i'll take 1 by 2 1 by 2 is a real number or not yes 1 by 2 is a real number now i'll check that what 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 is there in relation or not when 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 will be there in the relation if 1 by 2 is less than or equal to 1 by 2 whole cube 1 by 2 is less than or equal to 1 by 2 whole cube is 1 by 8 is 1 by 2 is less than 1 by 8 1 by 2 is 0.5 One by eight is clearly uh, see here. What I want to say, one by two is not less than one by eight. It is clear. One by eight is not less. One by two is not less than one by eight. That means what happened? The ordered pair one by two comma one by two does not belongs to this relation. So what we'll write here, if I take one by two is a real number, one by two is not Less than or equal to one by two whole cube. If we verify this, it is not true. So what we say, the ordered pair one by two comma one by two is there in the relation? Ordered pair one by two comma one by two does not belongs to the relation. That means it fails to satisfy reflexive property. So what we say, we say that the relation R is not reflexive. The relation R is not a reflexive relation. now we need to check that this relation is symmetric or not symmetric relation how we'll check a symmetric relation first we take an ordered pair from the relation you take uh, one ordered pair from the relation for example i'll take uh, 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 belongs to the relation you check that is 1 is less than or equal to 3 cube clearly Clearly, one is less than or equal to three cube. That means order pair one comma three belongs to R. Now we need to check that order pair three comma one is there in the relation or not. If order pair three comma one is there in the relation, then we say that it is symmetric. Otherwise, we say that it is not symmetric. How to check the order pair three comma one is there in the relation or not? If three is less than or equal to one cube. A is less than or equal to B cube, na? No? If three is less than or equal to one cube, then we say that this relation is symmetric. You check here, one cube is nothing but one. Is three is less than or equal to one? Clearly, three is greater than one. That means the ordered pair three comma one does not belongs to the relation. 
the ordered pair 3 comma 1 does not belongs to the relation so what we say from this we it fails to satisfy the symmetric property so we say that the relation r the relation r is not symmetric the relation r is not a symmetric relation now we need to check that the relation is a transitive or not we'll check the relation r is transitive or not how to check the relation is transitive or not first we'll take a pair of ordered pairs which are of the form a comma b and b comma c from the relation now i'll take an example like this let 100 comma 5 the ordered pair 100 comma 5 belongs to the relation and the ordered pair 5 comma 2 belongs to the relation you observe here this ends with 5 and this starts with 5 such type of order pair i choose in now i'll check that uh, this 100 comma 5 is there in this relation or not 100 is less than or equal to 5 cube 5 cube is what 125 100 is less than or equal to 125 yes that means the ordered pair 100 comma 5 belongs to the relation and is the ordered pair 5 comma 2 belongs to r if 5 is less than or equal to 2 cube 5 is less than or equal to 2 cube then definitely order pair 5 comma 2 will be there in the relation 5 is less than 2 cube is 8 is 5 is less than 8 yes 5 is less than 8 so the ordered pair 5 comma 2 is there in the relation now we need to check that the ordered pair a comma c that means the ordered pair 100 comma 2 is there in the relation or not we need to check see here uh, 100 take 100 100 is less than or equal to a comma c what is a comma c c is 2 100 is less than or equal to 2 cube is 100 is less than or equal to 8 no 100 is not less than or equal to 8 what it tells that it tells that the ordered pair 100 comma 2 does not belongs to the relation does not belongs to the relation that means if you take a pair of order pairs which is of the form a comma b and b comma c a comma c does not belongs to the relation that means it fails to satisfy transitive property therefore the relation r is not transitive the relation r is not a transitive relation it's not a transitive relation so you check here this relation is not reflexive this relation is not symmetric this relation is not transitive so they are asking to check this relation is reflexive or symmetric or transitive final conclusion is this relation is neither reflexive nor symmetric nor transitive if you like this video please press like button if you have any doubt you please comment and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get more updates thank you